A nationwide opioid settlement would send billions of dollars into the fight against the opioid crisis, but not everyone wants it to go forward. That decision will be up to the U.S. Supreme Court. Here's Josh Krupp with White Matters. Families all across Ohio, Michigan, and the U.S. have been affected by the opioid crisis. But in the fight against it, there's one family you need to be familiar with in particular if you're not already. The Sackler family, owner of Purdue Pharma, the maker of OxyContin. That was the drug often cited as a catalyst of the opioid epidemic. Purdue faced thousands of lawsuits for its role in the crisis. It ended up reaching a settlement last year with state and local governments that had several terms. The Sacklers would give up ownership of the company. Purdue would declare bankruptcy. It would restructure to form a new company dedicated to combating the crisis. And the Sacklers would pay up to $6 billion toward that effort, including two affected families. Another term of the deal that's already been completed, and listen to stories of people hurt by the drug. I hope that every face, every single victim's face, haunts your every waking moment and your sleeping ones too. I hope you hear our names in your dreams. I hope you hear the screams of the families who find their loved ones overdosing on the bathroom floor. But the settlement also shields the Sackler family from future lawsuits and could allow them to keep billions in profits they made from OxyContin. The U.S. Supreme Court blocked this deal this past summer. On Monday, the justices will hear arguments in the case challenging whether the Sacklers should be shielded from liability. We wanted the settlement to move forward. It's so important to get this money flowing. Ohio's attorney general is among those who think the settlement is the best deal right now to get people money quickly and directly. Some understandably want to put this to bed and move on, but others want more accountability. This case will decide if that will happen, and that's why it matters. Josh Krupp, 13 Action News.